A significant event unfolded recently along the border shared by the Islamic Republic of Iran and the Taliban in Afghanistan. This escalation of gunfire has intensified the ongoing disputes between the two nations, centered around the contentious issue of water rights. Join us as we embark on an all-encompassing exploration of the historical context, current events, and the potential implications that hang in the balance. But before we dive into this gripping tale, we kindly ask you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for informed and engaging content. The transboundary water disputes between the Taliban and Iran have a long and complex history dating back to the early 1970s. Iran has expressed concerns over the Taliban's development of water infrastructure, particularly on the Helmand River and the Harirud Magab River. These concerns arise from the perceived threats to Iran's water security in the eastern and northeastern provinces due to the Taliban's agricultural expansion and dam construction activities. The Helmand River Basin, vital for both Afghan and Iranian farmers has become a focal point of tensions. Similarly, disputes have arisen in the Harud Magab River Basin due to the Taliban's dam construction projects. Iran's concerns are fueled by the fact that the Helmand River is the sole water source for its eastern province of Sistan and Baluchistan, a region known for its volatility. This dependency on the river makes Iran vulnerable to any increases in upstream water consumption by the Taliban. Tensions have also emerged over the Harud Magab River, where the Taliban's dam construction activities, including the Salma Dam, built with Indian assistance, have raised concerns in Iran about potential water shortages and decreased dependence on Iranian energy. Climate change is expected to worsen the tensions between the two countries with glacial melt, decreased rainfall, and increased temperatures predicted to cause long-term water stress in both Iran and the Taliban. In 1973, Afghanistan and Iran signed a crucial agreement known as the Afghanistan-Iran Water Treaty, also called the Helmand River Treaty. This treaty aimed to resolve water-related disputes and foster cooperation between the neighboring countries. The main objective of the treaty was to ensure the fair and balanced use of the Helmand River's water resources. Originating in Afghanistan's mountains and flowing into Iran, this river holds immense significance for both nations. According to the treaty, Afghanistan committed to allocating a specific annual water quantity to Iran. This allocation aimed to provide a stable and predictable water flow to support Iran's agricultural needs. The treaty also encompassed the construction of dams, reservoirs, and irrigation canals designed to enhance water resource management and efficiency in the region. To oversee the treaty's implementation, the Joint Helmand River Commission was established comprising representatives from both Afghanistan and Iran. The Commission's responsibilities included monitoring water flow, resolving disputes, and fostering cooperation between the two nations. The Afghanistan-Iran Water Treaty of 1973 marked a significant milestone in promoting water security and cooperation in the region. By establishing a legal framework for the equitable sharing of water resources, the treaty aimed to prevent conflicts and promote stability. However, some provisions of the treaty have been subject to different interpretations. This lack of clarity has hindered the effective implementation of the treaty and, unfortunately, strained relations between Afghanistan and Iran. Both countries find themselves struggling to assert their rights and interests within the confines of the agreement. On May 27, 2023, a border clash resulted in casualties and injuries near a shared border post. This clash followed Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi's warning to the Taliban regarding Iran's water rights over the Helmand River. With an estimated 97% of Iran facing some level of drought, the country has been grappling with severe water scarcity issues. Kabul's decision to dam the Helmand River has raised concerns and escalated tensions, leading to the recent border clash. Efforts to address the water rights issue took place between Afghan and Iranian officials. However, tensions escalated rapidly, prompting both sides to engage in talks to defuse the situation and recognize the potential consequences of a conflict. The clash near the border post intensified the long-standing tensions between Iran and the Taliban. Iran's concerns over its water rights stems from Kabul's plans to dam the Helmand River for electricity generation and agricultural irrigation. 
Iran's arid eastern regions rely heavily on the waters of the Helmand River, making them vulnerable to any reduction in downstream flow. The Taliban argues that its water infrastructure projects are essential for economic development and poverty reduction. They claim that these projects will provide electricity and improve agricultural productivity. Iran's worries are deemed unfounded and the Taliban asserts their right to pursue these projects as a sovereign nation. To resolve the issue peacefully, international organizations such as the United Nations and the World Bank have offered their assistance in mediating the dispute. Both Iran and the Taliban have expressed willingness to engage in dialogue. Escalating tensions between Iran and the Taliban have wide-ranging implications for both countries and the wider region. A potential conflict would worsen the humanitarian consequences, exacerbating the already dire water scarcity situation in the region. The lack of regional cooperation and effective water sharing agreements have contributed to the current crisis. Establishing a framework for water management, including a joint commission and negotiation of a water treaty, is crucial for addressing the transboundary water issues. A conflict between Iran and the Taliban would strain water resources, further worsening the existing water scarcity issues. This would have dire consequences for vulnerable communities, wildlife, and agricultural productivity. To avoid such a scenario, regional cooperation is essential. A joint commission involving Iran, the Taliban, and other riparian states can provide a platform for dialogue and negotiation. Drafting a comprehensive water treaty that addresses the concerns and rights of all parties should be the goal. Additionally, the international community, including organizations like the United Nations and the World Bank, should play a proactive role in facilitating negotiations and providing technical assistance. The experiences of other regions with successful water sharing agreements, such as the Nile River Basin, can offer valuable insights for resolving the Iran-Taliban water dispute. As tensions continue to rise between Iran and the Taliban over transboundary water disputes, dialogue, cooperation, and sustainable water management are of the utmost importance. Both countries must recognize the shared nature of water resources and work towards a mutually beneficial solution. The involvement of of international organizations and the support of the global community are vital in resolving this conflict peacefully and ensuring the sustainable use of water in the region. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.